Evening, welcome back to the channel. Oh, come on, ruining my intro here. Evening, welcome back to the channel. Uh, weird, weird, it's a weird intro to the vlog because I'm in my car. Um, basically, I'm going to buy a film camera from a random person on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I spotted it like when my mum actually spotted this last night. Really good deal for a Olympus OM1, uh, and it just, I just love the MP. I just love the Olympus's OM models. I think they just look so good. Uh, with four lenses. I'm not sure exactly lens. I know there's a 50 mil. I know there's a 70 to 150 mil, I think. Um, is it four lenses? It might be three lenses. I think it's a three lenses and a teleconverter, actually. We'll find out in a bit. I'm going to go check it out now. I'm on my way there now. Uh, we're going to go check it out. And yeah, I'm excited because we're wanting to get back into film. Talk more about that later. Right now, I'm going to go drive and hopefully buy a film camera. All right, I've got the I've got the camera. She was so nice. That one was so lovely and just friendly. And she was just selling it for her dad um, because it's his old camera. Apparently, he hasn't used it. Well, they, he's been used. He hasn't really used it since they were like kids. He used to take photos. But all that, so nice, lovely woman, and it looks so good. So I'm going home, and then we're gonna take a look at it. I'm excited. We got it. Okay, so I forgot what I have already recorded and told you. I've got a film camera now. I went and bought a film. I already have a film. I already have film cameras. I have a collection of film cameras because I'm a nerd. I like cameras. I like film cameras. I think they're sick. I love shooting film, even though I haven't done it in years, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but I don't use any of them for shooting other than this little Minolta. 125 Rivia Zoom, and I literally use this. It was one of my New Year's resolutions last year, and I've used it a fair bit, but not as much as I'd hoped. I've taken 19 photos, um, and I've used it purely for personal stuff. So it's shooting film, but I've been using it throughout the year to take personal photos of random stuff, and I've got no idea what's on here, and that's the point, is that when I eventually use up the film, and then get it developed, I've got no clue what photos I've taken, and that's the point of me using this but I've been wanting to shoot film on a proper fi a proper film camera to for personal use for memories and stuff like that but also I think I'd quite like to try and do some street photography on film because I feel like it'd be a very different experience but I haven't really given that a go yet and I'm pretty sure the majority of my cameras that I have film cameras that I have have that ability to do so but I've just never done it and so oh my God, let's have a look so that's my Dad's camera from when he was a kid. Um, I say a kid, like a teenager. That's his camera, which is given to me. That's my granddad's Rollerflex. Uh, and I've got this Polaroid. Polaroid film is just expensive, hence why I've not used that. That's the one I use. This, I'm pretty sure this works. I got it for Fiverr in a flea market in Barcelona. This is this one works. This is my old film camera that I used to actively use. That's what I learned photography on, photography on in college. I use that and I've got these two Kodak ones which I've never actually even tried I don't know if they actually work or not but they just look cool and I got them for like I think I paid £10 for both of these they look wicked Polaroid is a lot disposable film camera which I will use at some point lenses lenses and these two film cameras that one definitely works I've just never used it and I think this cosmic symbol works but again never used it so yeah, I have all these cameras, these film cameras, and never used them, and I wanted one, I'm rambling on now, but I wanted one to shoot film on. And I saw this on Facebook, Mark, well, as I say, my mum saw this on Facebook Marketplace last night, and it was too good of a deal to miss. I couldn't not get it. So, coming the camera back, I'm very excited, as you can tell. So what I've got, is an Olympus OM-1 which is in great condition still works it looks so clean it could do with a little bit of a dust but it looks so clean but yeah all works wait rolls for the film 
and the shutter releases I've tested the um, shutter speed the aperture seems to work fine on this lens I'm not gonna lie I'm not a, not a whiz I don't really know what, too much of what I'm looking for but it all seems to work fine and it just looks so nice I love these Olympuses which is why when I saw this I was like yes so uh, Olympus OM1 it's come with a 50mm 1.8 Olympus lens, which is currently on there. We've got a 28mm with a sun visor thing, wide angle hood. Uh, we've got a 28mm 2.8 lens, Vivitar lens, that one is. We've got a flash. I only use my flash for my digital camera, let alone. That's the point actually, does my flash even work on this camera? Because it's, oh wait, no, I've used it. I have used it, don't worry. But yeah, flash for the zoom, for the zoom. Flash for the film camera. Um, it also comes with a two times tele-adapter in a little leather zip bag, which is cute. There you go, have a look at that. Um, oh yeah, there yeah, as well. There's the 28mm. Just trying to focus in on that. It's got the head lens hood back on it again. Nice. And it also comes with a 17 to 150mm 3.8, I think this was. Yeah, 17 to 150mm 3.8. Also got close focusing and apparently auto zoom, but there's no, this is a fully manual lens uh, camera, so. I don't think that works. That's also Vivitar, that one as well. Um, and yeah, a whole lot works. Oh yeah, it also comes with the original instructions, which I'm definitely gonna have to read because I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and it also came with some filters, which I need to check out. But yeah, fantastic deal. I'm buzzing. I can't wait to actually get out and shoot this. Just look, oh, it just looks so sexy. Look at that, oh, yes. Yes, just yes, everything yes. It just looks sexy. I have just I have a thing for film cameras. I just think they look great, which is why I have all these. I bought, most of these I've bought because they look cool, to be completely honest. The Cosmic Symbol bought because they look cool. The one from the Spanish flea market, cool. The two Kodaks, they look cool. Obviously grandfather and dad's one have sentimental value, but again, they look freaking cool. Just love camera. I'm such a nerd. But yeah, very excited. Very excited to go out and shoot with this. I need some film now. If any of you are film nerds, drop comments below on what film I should be using and why. I'm gonna need to do a whole lot of research into this. I think I have some film from college. So I'll see if I've got any of that spare and then I can use that as my I guess my practice role because I film's expensive, so I've heard. Um but yeah. But yeah, so I used to shoot film, I shot film for a year back in college um, on this, I'll show you. I think I've spoken about this before on the channel. This old Pentax MZM uh, with a 28 to 80 millimeter Sigma lens on it. And it's a electronic film camera. There is auto settings if you want to use them for shutter speed don't think the ISO is auto I'm not gonna I haven't used it since college and I was in college in 2012 2012 to 2013 is when I was shooting on this and I did all my film all my photography projects I effectively learnt the basics of photography using this camera and I haven't really used it since so that was oh my god that was nine years ago this year oh I'm so old yeah, I've been wanting to shoot film since then and I haven't. And now I can, properly. I'm excited. Also, this is the perfect time to talk about this quickly because I, one of my New Year's resolutions, I've only got three for this year because I think we just need to survive 2021 because 2020 was such a mess. But one of my New Year's resolutions this year, well, that was very fast. One of my New Year's resolutions this year is to vlog more or document life more basically. I want to make more vlogs. I find them fun 
and obviously the whole of last year all my vlogs that I posted I called them photo vlogs because they were vlogs of me going out to take photos as of this is a new year so I'm going to follow the YouTuber trend that I see vloggers doing where they have a different season for every year so this is season two of the vlog but we're calling them vlogs now they're not photo vlogs they're vlogs because I, this year I want to emphasize documenting life documenting stuff we get up to when we can get up to it because obviously pandemic but i want to document more so i want to make more vlogs even if it means when, even if it's not going out and taking photos in that vlog It'd probably still be photography related let's be honest but even if we're not going out and taking photos i still want to make vlogs and document stuff like this i want to vlog i'm vlogging the fact that i've got my first i say it's not my first film camera at all but i've got a new film camera and i'm excited to go out and use it so yeah, that's happening going forward. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to talk about my film camera and talk about the fact that I've got this new Olympus OM-1 and I'm very excited by it. I'm very excited to use it. And if you're a film nerd, get message me on Instagram, at Luke Palms, and tell me what I need to know about film. Because as I say, it's been nine years since I've shot on film and I probably didn't even really know what I was doing then, to be honest because I was learning photography. I also need to figure out if I'm gonna, I don't know, I, I learned, like in college, I learned how to develop the film, like use it in a dark room, like, a, like obviously a pitch black room to then use, get it into the thing and then you put all the chemicals in. I learned how to do that. I think I could still do it with a bit of practice. Should I bother? Because then you gotta buy the chemicals and stuff. Should I just, I should probably just send film off to get it developed professionally. Yeah. If you're still here, I appreciate you a lot. A lot, a lot. I'm gonna clean up the camera kit now because it's a little bit dusty. Um, yeah, I hope you're safe, I hope you're well. Have a great, I mean, I'm about to go into my weekend, but by the time I upload this, it's gonna be midweek, so have a great week. Uh, like the video if you don't mind, that'd be really helpful. I'd appreciate it because it pushes it out, algorithm and all that. Subscribe if you're new to the channel because we talk about photography and cameras and stuff. And it's kind of a focus here, you know. Would appreciate it. Join the community. Uh, all the other stuff that YouTube is telling you to do. And I'll see you in the next video. I don't know why I'm talking really slow. I don't know why I'm doing this. But... Peace. Oh wow, that looks so cool. Oh my god, hello. That just looked really cool. Go, why are you still here? Leave, go, go away, goodbye.